Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute heating bunny ring. You can make the bunny without the bow and it can be for baby boy as well. You can insert also the rattling uh, ball inside and you will get baby rattle. Okay, for this project I'm going to use this yarn, it's called Baby Love from Gazal, Gazal brand and it contains 45% acrylic and 55% model. You can use any other yarn, but it should be with the similar parameters. They recommend 3mm crochet hook and I'm going to use 3mm crochet hook. If you would uh, tighten less than me, use 2.5mm crochet hook. If you would uh, tighten more than me, you can use 3.5mm crochet hook. Next what you will need is hollow fiber. Um, if you want the bunny to rattle, use the rattling ball and this wooden, uh, wooden ring sewing thread, yarn needle, stitch marker and I'm going to use safety button. So I will use a safety eye button with circumference about uh, 0 0.5 or 6 centimeters and size of the safety nose button is 1.2 centimeters. So it's up to you if you will use safety uh, buttons or you will sew it. Okay, I'm going to start to crochet the head of bunny and start with magic ring. Then chain one and this chain on the beginning we will count like single crochet because we are going to make single crochets into the magic ring and make six single crochets together. I don't know if you know it, but if you will go from front uh, or from back, when you will make single crochet, it will, it will give you different pattern, different uh, effect. So you can try it and pick what way you want. So make single crochets into the magic ring and make six single crochets into the magic ring plus the extra chain on the beginning is seven together. Now pull the starting tail and tighten the magic ring. Then we have to join the round with a slip stitch and make a slip stitch in the first stitch. Or you can count from the right side and it will be the sixth uh, stitch. So over here insert your hook. Grab the yarn, pull it through and make a slip stitch. And now we are going to crochet in a round. So you should mark the beginning of the round. And in next round make two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. And I'm going to hide the starting tail behind my work. And it's more comfortable for me, it's less work at the end, so you can follow me if you want, or then you can sew it inside. So make two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. Okay, 
Now in next round make two single crochets in each second stitch. So I'm going to increase the first stitch. So make two single crochets in the first stitch. This is one single crochet and to make one more single crochet in the same stitch. And in next stitch make just one single crochet. Now two single crochets. And continue working two single crochets in every second stitch all the way around. Okay, next round we are going to increase every third stitch. So increase the first stitch. Now one single crochet in next two stitches. And increase again. So make two single crochets in every third stitch around. In the next stitch we are going to make every fourth stitch. Uh, we are going to increase every fourth stitch. So make two single crochets in the very first stitch and then make just one single crochet in the in next three stitches. And two single crochets in next stitch. And continue working like this all the way around. Okay, and this is last uh, round of increasing. So increase the first stitch, make two single crochets in the first stitch. And then make just one single crochet in next four stitches. So in this round we are going to increase every fifth stitch. So make two single crochets in every fifth stitch all the way around. Okay, and how I said it was last round of increasing, so now make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make seven rounds of single crochets without change together. So seven rounds without change together. Okay, this is how it looks like and now we are going to decrease. And I'm going to decrease with different way because it, uh, it's seamless. So insert your hook just into the front loop in next stitch and in front loop in the next stitch grab the yarn, pull it through two front loops, grab the yarn and pull it through two loops. And this is how I will decrease always in whole pattern. Then make just one single crochet in next four stitches and we have to decrease every fifth stitch in this round. So now again you have to decrease, so insert your hook into the front loop, into the next front loop, grab the yarn, pull it through both these loops, 
Grab yarn and pull it through two loops. And then make just one single crochet in next four stitches. So in this round, decrease every fifth stitch with this way. It's up to you if you will use some different way of decreasing, but this is really invisible, invisible decrease. Okay, now uh, make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So this will be round without change, without decrease, without increase. And in next round we are going to decrease every fourth stitch. Then you will make again just one round without change and then you will decrease every third stitch and one round without change. Okay, I hope it was understandable. If it's not enough understandable for you, just write me here below the video and I will help you. Now it's time for eyes, eyes buttons and nose button and hollow fiber. And if you want, you should insert uh, the ball inside the head. I will place the eyes in the 11th row from above and there will be six single crochets between them and then the nose button I will place under in the middle and stuff the head. Okay and now uh, we need to close the hole so we need to finish decreasing so in this round we have to decrease every second stitch all the way around. Okay, and now I will make decrease by decrease, but I will decrease in this round just three times and then I will close the V hole with your needle. So now you can cut the yarn, pull it through and use your needle. I'm going to show you how to <laughs> use your needle, make a few stitches like this and tighten it and close the hole. It will be more invisible than, than you would uh, you would decrease uh, you would decrease the hole till the end with the crochet hook. Okay and then you have to sew the tail inside the head. Okay, let's finish the face. Use new end of the same color of yarn and insert your yarn needle from below the head somewhere here uh, beside your right eye and you have to make stitch under the eye so just follow me and go back here and now you can tighten it and then insert your needle Again, somewhere here and go to the left eye and do it exactly the same. 
Okay, so we are making a nicer shape of eyes and we are making we are making we are, we are making nicer face of the rabbit. If you will not do it, it's okay, but it will not be too nice, uh, but it's up to you if you will make it. Okay, this is how it looks like. And now use new end of the yarn and go from below somewhere here under the nose and I'm going to make a little hole for the mouth of rabbit it will look it will look nicer so again it's up to you if you will make it or not so go back and it's better when you will do it again so repeat it and make one more stitch then you can tighten it and I will make just slip knot and you can cut the yarn and leave it over here because there will be the ring and everything will be hidden Okay, and now I'm going to use the black black uh, yarn and I'm going to finish the eyes and uh, the line on the nose. So I'm not too good in English, so just follow me. I think it will be better when I will be quiet.
Okay, we have done the face of rabbit and now let's make the ears. So make a slip knot and then chain nine. And then I'm going to make a circle, so join it in the very first stitch or very first chain. So insert your hook into the first chain, grab the yarn, pull it through and make a slip stitch. Now chain one and make one single crochet in each stitch around and you should uh, keep the starting tail long because you will need it for sewing. So it's up to you if you will use it or if you will use new end of the yarn or if you will use sewing thread. I'm at the end of the round and now I'm going to make a slip stitch and from next round I'm going to work in round. So it's up to you if you will work in a round or if you will start every round with chain one and you will finish every round with a slip stitch. But you have to make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make three rounds together. So continue working one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make three rounds together of single crochets. You can pause the video and then meet me back again and I will show you what else. Okay, in next round we have to increase two times. So make two single crochets in the first stitch. And then you will increase also on the other side. So now make one single crochet in next three or four stitches. And now increase again. So make two single crochets in the same stitch. Then make one single crochet in each stitch to the end of this round. So in this round we have increased twice. Okay, I am at the end of the round and in next round we will make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So it will be round without changes.
in the next round we are going to increase again twice so increase the first stage make two single crochets in the first stage and then increase again on the other side so now make just one single crochet in the next four stitches And now two single crochets in the same stitch then you will make just one single crochet in in each stitch to the end of the round okay now I am at the end of the round so in next three rounds you will make just one single crochet in each stitch around so three rounds of single crochets three rounds without changes and now we have to decrease so decrease every second stitch all the way around And now make decrease by decrease but again don't finish it till the end and close the hole with yarn needle again like before. So now just finish it with yarn needle. Okay, this is how it looks like and you will make exactly the same way also the second ear and you should sew both sides here together and then and I'll attach both sides to each other with one or two stitches like this and then you can sew it to the head for example with uh, an invisible stitch and you can place them wherever you want okay now let's make the last part of the teething bunny ring and we have to make a small piece of the rectangle so make a slip knot and then chain 19 okay now I'm going to make just single crochet so this is the easiest part of the pattern and I'm going to start in the second chain so insert your hook in the second chain grab the yarn pull it through you have two loops on your hook grab the yarn and pull it through two loops this is single crochet and you will make single crochet one single crochet in each uh, chain across
Okay, now at the end of the row, chain one, turn your work and repeat it again. But you will have start always in very first stitch and make first single crochet. Then make one single crochet in each stitch across. And I'm going to make eight rows of single crochets. Okay, and this is how it looks like. I just sew it together with yarn needle, with normal stitch and sew the head of bunny to the ring with invisible stitch. And that's all. You can make a bow if you want and sew it to the ear. And that's all from me. I hope you like the bunny. I hope you like the tutorial if you do put the thumb up and don't forget to subscribe my channel have a lovely day and see you soon